Hello everyone, Mark Houlihan here for Speedway Motors. We're at the 2022 SEMA show and we're in the Willwood Disc Brakes booth with my good friend Mike Hamrick here to talk drum versus disc when it comes to rear brake applications. Mike, thanks for having us here in the booth. Tell us a little bit about drum versus disc when it comes to like say your typical drum rear muscle car setup. Absolutely, Mark. A lot of people have a misconception that drum brakes aren't good. Um, that's actually false. Drum brakes work really well, and depending on the, the use of the vehicle and what the customer is going to be doing as far as driving, you may be fine with using just a drum, drum brake in the rear. What, what we'll typically do at Willow Disc Brakes is start asking the customer some different questions. What do you plan on doing with the vehicle? Um, once they give us a synopsis of that, we'll also ask, will you be able to see the brakes through the wheel? Very important, yeah. It, because a lot of times people think that they want rear disc brakes only because they'll match the front and the aesthetic will be a lot better looking. Yeah, they have a nice large diameter wheel that's very open looking and they want to see those brakes. And at the end of the day, a lot of disc brakes look nicer and aesthetically pleasing compared to a drum brake. Mm -hmm. Do drum brakes work well? Absolutely. Drum brakes are a great brake, especially on a street car. Mm -hmm. You've got lots of surface area, and you're always going to have more than enough brake on a street car than you wouldn't have. So in theory, people believe, I'm gonna be able to stop better with a disc brake. Well, that's not necessarily true. What happens with the drum is you've got a large cast iron drum mm -hmm. that as it gets saturated, it starts to fail on you. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing repeated stops over and over, you're gonna to wanna to go to a disc. The disc is gonna allow us to cool the brake system a lot more effectively than a big drum. Yeah, that drum is, acts like a hat and just keeps all that heat right on the backing plate and the shoes and it saturates it. And you're gonna get brake fade a lot sooner than you would with a rear disc where it's all open and plenty of air. Absolutely. Now, the next thing is, if it's a performance application, disc brakes are almost imperative because it gives you the driver a much better pedal feel okay. than a drum brake. So on your street car, it really comes down to what you're doing with the vehicle and if you can see the brake. If it's a car that is being built to just cruise on the weekends and you don't really see the brake and you're not worried about the aesthetic, the drum brakes are totally fine to stay with. Make sure that you contact Willwood so that we can get you into the right master cylinder bore size and use of residual valves. Perfect, yeah, if you're gonna keep those drums in the back, we wanna make sure you have the proper fluid flow with the right piston size in the master and those residual valves to keep that pressure on it. Absolutely. Great, great. Well, I, I appreciate it, it's been very educational and I'm sure our customers are gonna be a lot more educated with this video series. Thanks for watching.